The Blackstone was in downtown Plains as the family walked behind the motorcade of Mrs. Carter, taking her home one last time. An emotional day here in downtown Plains as the community said goodbye to Miss Rosalind Carter. Some saluting, some crying, some bringing flowers out here today to honor a woman they called family and first lady. I wanted to come and just be here and pay respects to Rosalind for a life well lived, which puts it mildly. People from all over coming to the Carter's hometown of Plains to pay respects to First Lady Rosalind Carter for a lifetime of service. We've been seeing a constant stream of visitors from all over the world uh, expressing their grief and sharing their stories on how they interacted with uh, Rosalind and how it's changed their life. Family following behind her as the motorcade took Miss Carter home one final time. She's always going to be alive in Plains. And I think Rosalind Carter and Jimmy are the greatest of the greatest generation. The greatest of the greatest generation, inspiring a whole new one. I think everybody's honored to be here and uh, we're just here to pay our respects to Miss Rosalind. Sumter Middle School advisor Brinson Brock saying his students got to play a special role in Miss Carter's funeral, growing some of the very flowers used on her casket. They rose from right here among us to be leaders in the world. And so I, I try to instill in my students that they can do the very same thing. She was taken to her family home to be buried in a private family ceremony. In downtown Plains, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News. You can watch our full coverage of the Rosalind Carter funeral on our website, WJCL.com, or on the very local app.